flight number four. Beautiful Acapulco, Mexico. Except we're not supposed to be in Acapulco. We're supposed to be in Oaxaca for Astrid's birthday. All I know about Acapulco is cliff diving and professional tennis. We got a lovely view of the road and a tent with some cigarettes. I don't want to be in Acapulco. I want to be down there in Oaxaca where we tried to land three times, twice last night and once this morning. Unsuccessful, hoping that this fourth time is going to do it. Hola!
Yesterday was like our first sort of day walking around yep. because of the whole Acapulco situation. Oh my god, yeah. So yesterday we did like a lot of scouting and a lot of like looking at different shops and stores and just kind of getting the lay of the land. Now we're going to do some damage. Some shopping? Some shopping damage. What am I going to get? Well, we're looking for a leather belt for you, so oh, let's yeah. see if we can find that or not. All right, let's do it. What are you going to get? I saw a really nice dress, so I want to try it on. What's it look like? White with embroidery. I'm white with embroidery. <laughs> What are your thoughts about here so far? I think it's amazing. Not at all like I imagined it because everything's like really low and I did think it was kind of like more built up, more city, but yeah. it really feels more like a Pueblo. And it is a Pueblo Magico, so. And to me, it reminds me of like when you're in Mexico City, like the small little cool neighborhoods. It's basically like a big city of all one, that. One big cool neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. And like the mountains around it or like the hills, it's really, it's so cool. And do you feel safe? Yeah, very. Yeah, it does feel very safe. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of like pepper. You find something? Velvet. I'm excited. Very excited. Second breakfast. our room we love it like ceilings are very low you know, I can touch <laughs> you got this like really cool little sitting area out here that's like under the stairs Are you done, me? Gracias. I'm absolutely floored that they let you climb up this. Like, in the United States, you wouldn't be able to climb any of this. It's thousands of years old. Wow. This is incredible. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain the feeling. It's just like... And then you have like the view over like Oaxaca. Wow, oh, it's amazing. What do you think? I mean, it's amazing. Just architecturally, this would be a billion dollar project, infrastructure project, and they had just like a lot, a lot of people doing it. With stone tools. With stone tools. Ancient vibes, right, yeah. for, for sure. This whole structure, this whole like area is about eight and a half square miles, which is huge. And it was the Zapotecs first, and then they had other indigenous cultures like the Olmecs, the Mixtecs, the Mayans, Teohitlans, I don't know if I said that right. Um, a lot of techs. A lot of techs. A lot of techs. Empires come and go. There. Mm -hmm. Then the palace is here. That is the south platform. Other side of this. Um, I just like can't believe how quiet it is up here. They just let you walk everywhere. I know. I can't believe how perfect it is. And like you said, the sunken court, it's 50 meters by 50 meters. Yeah. And like... Not a millimeter more. Exactly. exactly.
Okay. And we're taking the seeds with us to some pancho. Uh. <laughs> Amigos, I'm Sean, and that's Astrid. This is our street here, and that's Astrid. <laughs>